Hey y'all, it's Queen Mercy, your badass brand coach. And today we're talking about brands versus business. Why do you have a whole business centered around brands, badass brand coach? Why is everybody talking about brands? Like, what's this big thing about branding, right? Um, <laughs> brands allow you autonomy and flexibility and creative control and so many different things that allows you to really start your business and in an and, and all-encompassing way become and personify your brand and who you are and what you provide, what you offer without even needing all of the startup expenses and capital debt typical businesses normally need. So let's dive into that a little bit. One of my favorite um, examples of uh, business turning into a brand is none other than Mr. Fubu himself, Damon John. Damon John started with Fubu for us by us, a black founded, uh, a black founded and funded clothing line that was also um, and also catered to a predominantly black market um, or urban market. You know, jerseys and um, short shorts, crop tops, and like just kind of very sporty gear that was really popular back in the '90s. If you're like me, I'm an '80s baby um, or even '90s babies. I know that. You know, we all remember FUBU very well. And somewhere in everybody's closet, you got at least one piece of FUBU left. I know you got FUBU somewhere. Um, so I know I do. I've got a little bit of FUBU somewhere. I tucked in some boxes. I got some baby fat. You know, I got some, probably got some Sean John somewhere. Like, you know. Anyway, those were the brands of the 90s. And Damon John did a hell of a job of not only marketing his brand his uh business but also turning his business into a brand even after he sold fubu even after fubu went uh, even after fubu went defunct um he still i don't know if it necessarily went defunct i just think they stopped producing it not really sure about the story there but i do know that um he is indeed a brand himself he's a capital he's uh, an equity investor we call him capital venture uh capitalist uh venture capitalist um is, you know, a speaker, an author, um, he tours the world talking about these real estate deals, he's, uh, you know, a serial investor, he's just all over the place now, and that is really his brand, Damon John is his brand, even if he took Damon John and made it DJ or DJ Enterprises or whatever, he is his brand, and so that's the beauty of having his brand. Guess what? Even if he was absolutely broke, even if you're absolutely broke and you don't have anything to your name, you don't have anything to your business's name, your business doesn't have any credit, you don't any credit, you don't have any startup capital, you don't have anything, you can still be and build a brand. And that's the beauty of branding versus business. With business, you typically need a startup, you know, a startup spot, brick and mortar, some type of capital, some type of place, some type of foundation that, you know, um, you need to use to run your business. I'm not saying that brands don't need that. You absolutely do need that. Your brand should have a business plan. You should have a strong foundation. You should have a strong understanding of what you're offering and why. Why are you offering it to the market? But once you get that and you identify your market and you really personify your brand or you really, you know, um, in, you become an all-encompassing, all-consuming figure for your brand, then it's really easy to promote your brand and promote you and everything that you do as your brand. Like me, this is my brand, okay? So, um, you know my brand colors. My brand colors are coral and this very pretty, like, you know, green. My engagement ring is a morganite which is coral my husband was very smart he very, is very smart he know he knew that i love this color and he did a great job picking out my engagement ring which is now my wedding ring look my walls are coral like this this wall over here is coral this one's gold we kind of got an island feel in our dining room but this wall is uh coral here and in my in my living room my wall is coral i wear a lot of coral i wear a lot of dress my my nails are typically some type of pastel color like coral or something like it's just my brand it's just I, I, I love it i love coral i love rose gold that's exactly it and it it emits the feeling and the response that I want people to have. I want people to say, okay, this is light, easygoing, pleasant, refreshing, you know, 
um, um, easy to easy on the eyes. You know, those are the things that uh, I feel when I'm thinking about coral just puts me in a mellow mood. And so I made it part of my brand. Um, and you can do the same thing. Like branding is all about personifying and personalizing an experience for other people, right? So when we're talking about experiences, you just have to break down and decide what it is that you're going to offer, to whom you're going to offer it, why you're offering it to them, and what's in it with them, what's in it for them. Everybody wants to know what's in it for me. This home is W-I-I-S-F, what's in it for me. And it basically says, okay, why, to your customers, why would I want to buy into this brand? What about this brand makes me, you know, makes me want to invest in it, okay? So a couple of things that we're going to talk about really quickly because I don't want, I'm always respectful of everybody, respectful of everybody's time, right? We don't need a super long video. I just want to break down a couple concepts to you. So what you do need for your brand, um, because we cover what you don't need. You don't need a lot of startup capital. You don't need a lot of, you know, money for a brick and mortar. You don't need to rent or lease a space unless that's what your brand, your products requires, your product, service, or solution that you're offering requires. But what you do need is presence. You need um, to know how and where you're going to share your brand to whom you're going to share it with, right? And so you're gonna get that brand presence, it's gonna be your website, it's gonna be your social media, it's gonna be a landing page or all of the above. It's gonna be some you know, some way to get in touch with people, right? Um, authority, building authority in your brand because they need to know and trust you, right? So just like I'm doing right now by creating this video, this allows you to get a glimpse into my personality to hear me talk about the things that I'm passionate about and yes, I have notes so I, I don't forget anything, but if I just talked about everything that I know in digital marketing off the top of my head, I don't need, I don't need a notebook. You can ask me any single thing about anything that I talk about, anything that I claim to be an expert on, and I can free, freely and free flowing without any preparation or any study give you tips to help you in whatever area. That's because I'm an expert in that particular, in that particular market, right? Like you ask me something about some cybersecurity, I'm gonna be like, honey, husband, <laughs> please check. Please don't know, don't know that answer. Like, where's my husband? Like, you know, I'm I'm real, I stay in my lane. But I am I'm authoritative about that about my brand because I know what I'm talking about, right? So people, people need to, your audience needs to know, trust, and like you in order to buy from you, in order to invest in you, etc. So presence, you need presence and you need brand authority. Um, secondly, you need personality. People want to like and follow you. Again, videos, videos, video, video, hey, Ooh, I'm gonna have to in this thing because it's backwards, so. <laughs> Um, people need to know, trust, and like you, right? So you're going to show them who you are. And the people who are attracted to you, who are attracted to your brand, attracted to your personality, attracted to the way that you do business, those are going to be your customers. And anybody else? I can't really tell you what I'm thinking, but yeah. Uh, thirdly, elements. You need brand elements. Website, logo, email, banner, you know, whatever. You can produce these things on Canva for free. And there are plenty of ways, you know, plenty of other tools that you can use to kind of design your brand, your brand presence, and your brand elements, and all that good stuff. But, um, and in my program, um, in my program, uh, Brand Marketing Mastery, I actually go through the design functions of all of that. So I'll leave a link below so that you can, um, learn a little bit more about the brand marketing mastery uh, because that's going to be something that would definitely help you with building out your brand. Um, and that way, if you're interested, you can come on over to the bright side and get your brand, uh, build your brand together. I'm not going to build a brand for, for you. You know what I'm saying? You can build your own brand, but I'm going to give you some tips and some guidance and a full course on how to build your brand and uh, execute and launch your brand in less than 60 days with at least $10,000 in the bank. So, um, anyway.
anyway, so yeah, you need brand presence, authority, uh, personality, and brand elements. And you don't need all of the startup capital and all that stuff. So let's get started on building your brand. You want to talk to me, then book your free 45-minute consultation at the link below. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.